Nobody wanted to come here. It was called a throwaway school. We had in excess of 12 gangs. Like 98% of our kids are on free or reduced lunch, you know, so that's what we call Title I school. I want somebody to start caring about underserved kids, not just giving lip service and doing whatever it takes to help them. In my wildest dreams, Fur looks more like a university where kids can figure out what it is they want to learn and take the time to go wherever it is they want to go. First thing you're going to do is to build the five-minute robot. We're going to have two half days already where kids get to choose where they want to go. One kid wanted to learn about wolves. Another one wanted to learn about immigration law. Because what we're trying to do is get them to assume responsibility for their own learning. This year, everything's going to be focused on what you want to do, your voice, your choice, being able to discover yourself. We drink two to three a day. In two weeks, you will be consuming all this. I get to teach this to our communities, in which uh, a lot of us have diabetes. We're actually the first school in the nation to work with the U.S. Forest Service to pilot the Woodsy Owl Conservation Corps. So this is our garden. This is a and I want to study agriculture engineering and get my PhD in agriculture engineering. We're very excited about this kind of natural resource focus, place-based learning. Fur High School can change any student's life, and I believe that XQ saw that, and that's why they have given us this grant. I have been in education for 50 seven years, and I have never been this excited. Just wait. Just wait and watch and see what we do. It's going to be amazing.